The seagulls have a long message for you. So let me finish with the married ones. <laughs> let me first talk to the married women first. The married women hearing my voice tonight, since men are visual, the first thing that you need to be careful is how you dress. Dress for him. Dress to kill him. Don't dress to scare him away. <laughs> you know, what is strange, women dress very well during the day. They look gorgeous, charming. Then suddenly when they go home, <laughs> as you continue undressing, then you finally wonder why this guy is not even ready for you. You killed the gadget long ago. The aging cannot even work. <laughs> Men are visual. When we don't see the beauty in you any longer, you will take a long time by the time we are ready again. <laughs> and there are times married women want a nice warm hug and a good night kiss and then they sleep. But believe me, the average normal man wants to go the extra mile. Unless of course he's too old or too sick. <laughs> so in case you're not prepared for an evening game, just tell him, don't send hints, cues and clues. We just don't get it. <laughs> You know, two months ago, I was working on the strategic plan of the National Treasury. We were in Mombasa with senior government officials. We were there from Sunday. On Friday morning, 11 o'clock precisely, the team leader, a senior woman, she told me, Doc, it's 11 o'clock. I got so excited. You see, as a consultant, I needed us to finish the job before coming back to Nairobi. I've done many strategic plans, but believe me, I've never found a more complicated one than the National Treasury. I mean, everything falls under them. Everything. And I got so excited, she told me it's 11 o'clock, so I got them into work. Another lady lifted up her hand and said, Doc, I think you two are not communicating. She's telling you it's tea time. <laughs> Do you know what I did? I told the whole story about strategic plan and I said, guys, for 10 minutes, we're going to talk about men and women. Is that okay, guys? We're going to talk about men and women. Don't give another hint. We just don't hack it. We just understand A, B, C, D. If Marcia tonight tells me it's 11 o'clock at night, maybe from her perspective, she's tired and exhausted after planning for this workshop, she wants to sleep. From my perspective as a male, I feel it's time for real game. <laughs> Here's the deal, don't send hints, clues. We don't get it. There's a part of our brain that does not process hints. <laughs> Just say it. The way you talk to a class seven child, maintain it at that level. <laughs> 